Hey guys, I just wanted to preface this video quickly uh, because I didn't get to explain everything as I wanted to in the video because everything unfolded so fast. Uh, but basically, there was a guy that had joined a lot of my multiplayer games over the past couple of weeks uh, named PurpleJap10 who wanted to get a non-typical when he kept mentioning it. Uh, he joined my game and say like non-typical hunt day and whatever day it was. Uh, so for instance, he started with non-typical hunt day one, the first multiplayer game of mine he joined uh, and so on to whatever number he was on. Uh, when he joined this specific game and I actually saw one and he really wasn't all that far away uh, Where he spawned and because it was December 23rd. It was so close to Christmas I decided to give him the Christmas present of getting a nice non typical mule deer that I did not realize was nearly the size uh, Or at least the score that it was But yeah, I know in uploading this video that there's gonna be a fair amount of requests uh, asking for me to help uh, whoever find their first or a bigger or whatever non-typical I'm not gonna be able to help everybody but I will give advice at the end of the video on trying to find non-typicals I mean there's no formula to finding them but there's at least things that can help so stick around I'll uh, try to give any advice that I can at the end of the video uh, for finding non-typicals but for now I'll go ahead and show the footage all right guys we got a pretty solid non-typical mule deer here 225 to 255 score estimate and if both sides were like the left side, he'd easily top 300. And there's been a guy in my games uh, that's one of the non-typical for a long time, and I told him that I saw it. So he's coming up here. Unfortunately, that doe's trying to come in. So I haven't called for a while. I hope they're going to just turn back. I'll wait till he gets here, and uh, then we'll call them in. But my goodness, that left side is massive. But unfortunately, the right side is just kind of not even close, really, to the other uh, opposite side. And then it should drop like a 180 buck, maybe 190 as well. Hope he gets here fast. Because if I shoot the doe, he's going to bust. And I really don't think... Oh, I better get the weight on this. 125 to 140 that's just a big old buck in general but yeah I haven't grunted in a while I'm just really hoping they're gonna turn back look at that one side <laughs> oh he's feeding so that means he's not attracted to the call I'm gonna go prone see if we can get lucky and the doe doesn't spook gonna run I feel like I can't even talk yeah hi yeah I'm just I'm just gonna stay okay he's 36 meters from me I really hope that's that doe leaving I'm hearing other footsteps I don't like that is that the, the non typicals in the back okay he sees him all right here he is he's 25 out Okay, the doe's leaving, but the bucks are getting close. Wow, look at the body on him compared to this other one. It's going to be interesting to see if he can get him or not from here, or we'll have to uh, possibly, possibly track him. I don't know. He might gun it which is fine by me, whatever he wants to do. I think he just got out of his recurve. Be about a 45 meter shot from where he's at. Ooh, and it's gonna rain, I think. I can't tell him to call because these other bucks will try to get by me. Get, a, get prone again so they don't see me, unfortunately. 
I hope they walk past me. Which is kind of what's happening. Alright, he's crawling into position. Just gotta stay down. Be really bad if I mess this up for him just by being in the tower of all things. I called before I saw the buck, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd have been fine. Alright, he's kind of... I can't. If he calls, I think we'll be okay, but I definitely can't. I'll have these other ones get under me. Oh, if they... Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna call. Alright, that buck's swinging back at me. He's gotta be like... Whoa. <laughs> Alright, that works. I was about to say he's gotta be about 35 meters. But he got him down, so pretty satisfied with that. I thought we were going to have to track him, so. Glad we don't, to be completely honest, because I don't have a lot of time tonight. And sometimes these... And he's a heavier uh, buck, and it seems like the weight has something to do with it, so the heavier bucks are a little harder to get on, and it's just harder to get up close. So it's probably best that he just dropped him in his tracks. 306, that tops my personal best. I actually thought, as uneven as he was, he wouldn't get that high, but he is. <laughs> Very nice. Hey guys, I'm back to try to give some advice for killing non-typicals, but I also should say, in the very same game, like less than an hour later, Purple Jap 10, the guy that got the 306 non-typical, killed a 240 typical. And I know some of you guys are going to say about uh, him shooting the non-typical with a gun. Uh, that's not something I personally would do, and that was up to him. That's not something I'm going to try to regulate. But he did kill the 240 typical with a bow, so, I mean, if there's anything that can make up for killing a non-typical uh, with a gun, it's a monster typical with a bow. Uh, but anyway, moving on to trying to uh, give tips for killing non-typicals. There's really no formula. As I said at the beginning of the video, there's nothing absolutely that's going to work every time. But what will work is specifically hunting bucks, and if you're really set on killing a non-typical, ignore does, unless you're bow hunting. If you're bow hunting, you can probably get away with shooting does, uh, but every now and then you might spook a doe towards that one buck that turns out to be a non-typical. And also, if you're hunting blacktail, they travel in groups with does and bucks, so if you hear a doe, it's probably worth calling it in and checking it out. But yeah, if you can... Ignore the does, specifically hunt the bucks if you're that set on killing the non-typical, or even on monster typical, really. Ignoring the does is probably the way to go. In addition to that, bow hunting really helps. Uh, if you may have multiple bucks coming into the same call uh, from different directions, different groups, you never know. And uh, in the case uh, of the video, I was just hunting out of a tower stand. I wasn't hunting for a non-typical, and that's another thing. Um, don't, I wouldn't even say specifically hunt for non-typicals. Just hunt. Hunt on a map where there's deer. Uh, I like here on Timbergold Trails, Red Feather Falls is a good one. Uh, even Loggers Point where there's multiple, uh, deer species. Uh, but just, there's just the one deer species here on Timbergold Trails, but, uh, there's a lot of them. So I guess maybe that kind of balances it out because I've had a lot of mule deer non-typical here, uh, compared to Loggers Point. I don't know if that's just pure luck or what, but that seems to be the case, but yeah, I wouldn't say hunt for non-typicals, I'd say just hunt, have fun, that's the important part about the game anyway, I'm very fascinated with rares and non-typicals, that's something really cool, uh, that adds to the game, and it kind of can like, I don't know, break up the monotony sometimes of just killing, uh, smaller, average, uh, sized animals, but I don't hunt specifically for them, I love to find them, it's so cool, but if you can specifically just hunt and have fun and don't worry about it, I'd say that's the best thing to do overall. And eventually you'll find them without even trying to. And I don't think I've ever sat there and like gone into a hunt and thought, okay, I'm going to kill a non-typical and done it. I did go on a hunt one time where I wanted to kill a non-typical blacktail and I did do it. But honestly, I'd say just have fun. Ultimately, that's the point of the game anyway. But yeah, 
if you're truly set on killing non typical, first off, just have fun with the game. Eventually, it will happen. It may take a long time. Uh, but if you're having fun with it, you'll keep at it. So, and that's another thing. If you can stay in the game for longer, because I believe there are non typical spawned in pretty much every game. So, if you can hunt the map hard, especially like this map where it's just one deer species, uh, eventually you can find it. It might not be every game uh, that you can find one, but you will run, it, run into them uh, eventually. So that's my advice. Just have fun with it. Hunt hunt hard. If you can stay in the map uh, for longer, maybe watch YouTube in between uh, or, you know, whatever, listen to music, whatever you can do to keep yourself in the game. And if you're not finding any animals, do a reset, join a different game. Multiplayer helps as well, being able to chat uh, with others, whatever you think you can do. So, yeah, I'm recording this on uh, Christmas morning. It's about 1 a.m., and i got to get to bed. But that's my advice. I hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas, and if you don't celebrate it, having a fantastic day. And with that said, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a like if you did. See you in the next one.